Pamela Sandro. Okay, let me just find this. Had some sticky tape giveaway on my rig. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do the creative family group with the video. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop this in the creative family group. And group. Actually, I'm gonna put in the creative family group and then I'm gonna also share it into the March class group. I think I've got to do that last Friday night. Another group. Much class group, and there we go. And then, hello Joanne, how are you? So, so far, oh, and hello D. So far, we've got Joanne, D, and Sandra. How are you all? There's still kits of this left from Friday night, isn't there? I think so. So, there's still a few kits left for, oh, actually, I think the manufacturing, ah, oh, it's just the glitter card that's only that's going to be the only thing. I think there's lots of kits for that left or quite a few. And then we just buy more glitter card when we need to restock the kit. So that's last Friday night and it's using the rice paper from my dad remember and the rest is from um, Beautiful Family. And then this week has been scrap box week. Oh no, this is this is what I made at Super Saturday last weekend. So it's we've been we there is a video on here on the Facebook page and on the YouTube channel talking about like so it's the anatomy of a scrapbook scrap box page so we were talking about you know that in preparation for doing scrap box week this week so scrap box week we have made a little box with a little easel card in it so that was on Tuesday morning. That's in the Creative Family group and on the YouTube channel and in the March class group. Radio. If you have questions on videos later on when you watch them later, just message them to us. Yeah, um, on now the message service on our online store has changed and it's not via Messenger anymore. It's via the online store now because... And that's because we've linked it into the Shopify shop app. A lot of you shop via shop and um, with us and for because it's safe. Um, and it's so that you can message us directly from shop now as well. And then Wednesday night we did this. And it's mostly robot antics. Uh, there's a tiny bit of the island there. Damn it. A um, bit of Alice, a bit of out and about, a bit more out and about. And there's some steampunk and feathers and a bit of getaway vellum and lots of robot antics. Oh, that's quick. Popping things on. Go away. Pop, pop thing. Hello. Let's go back. Hello, Sandy and Diana. Oh, that's good, Joanne. Hello, Beck and Lorraine, Robin, Tash. Mary and Quentin, he's over there. And then we've got Di also over on the tube with Sandra. And Quentin swept the tube working. The YouTube. Um, and this is Lost Shadow. It flicks some spray at the end. So that's also on the Creative Family group and the YouTube channel and in the March class group. So, yeah. So we made this a little motley. Um, this title on purpose so there we go that's what we've done and we've got four main clusters and that's cool because that's acceptable uh, what am I going to show you next oh I'll just show you what I put in this afternoon that we've just some top ups oh where are they in Did you, oh in the bucket in the bucket in the bucket. Okay. We're not using an actual bucket. So I reduced the price of the calendar tabs 
And for today only, they are 75% off. So they work out to be, so 2022, and see, I use them. If I was scrapbooking a photo in January, I stick this on the page and I circle the, um, the date. I do that all the time. So 2022 are 25 cents and 2023 are 50 cents for today only. So it ends at midnight. So 25 cents a packet and you get 10 books of the year and 50 cents a packet. Um, yep. Yeah, we so we've topped up some black letter stickers. We've got rainbow rainbows. Um, got red gnomes. Um, we've got the butterfly frames, divided to them frames. That's a customer request. More pockets. We just keep making pockets. Divided to them florals, Tropicana florals, Moody florals. These are Imagine with Alice flowers, words and leaves. It's one of those. Uh, more a day to remember. Um, orchids. And then we've got Aussie grunge orchids. So these are like a whitey cream orchid and these are a pink orchid. It's one of those. I've got something different in here. I'm just going to try and fish out the different stuff in here that I haven't already showed you. Aussie birds. They have to be um, best wishes words. The bright birthday colour cuts. Um, V-dub wedding. It's pink and green wedding stuff got a beat up there oh and happy birthday dolphins there's more in the basket but it's all the same because we don't just make one no point to just making one okay how about next i show you the new things for the islands we're using the islands tonight let's get rid of that over there anyway. let me just you know the tabs are also on the front page of the website the photo tabs are on the front page of the website. Well, it's it's a website, but it's actually a store. It's a store. It's a shop. That's an online store. I am pretty sure I had the first online store in my area. Um, I've had an online store longer than Kmart and Big W, I can tell you that. Um... I don't know why I'm still for a really long time. Okay, I'm just getting out. I've got multiples of these in this pile. I, I just. Uh, is there one in the new magazine too? Oh, yes. So today we released, and, and we did a very quiet, sneaky release of our next inspiration magazine, which is, because we'll talk all about it tomorrow um, in our weekly roundup tomorrow morning, it is the Islands, which is a customer request. So you guys wanted the islands next, and Naomi John did the islands next. A lot of work. So it's March. It's the, it was the end of March, and it was the end of April when we released Swan Princess. Unclick it. Click on it. Um, Jesus, a doofus. You all met my husband. Sorry, I am here. You're all saying the magazine, lucky that Clinton's there to put his stamp on it. Yeah, it's nothing to do with Clinton's. Rightio. So, new for the islands. We have got the Timber Rock Paper One, for starters, in vellum. So we needed that. Less than five left. Yes. Um, we've got this blue watercolour in the vellum. And then I made like a seaweed print. It's just to have a small print in the background. You know when you just want something to break it up? But you don't want a geometric pattern. Well, it is kind of. It's sort of in stripes. And then shells. Kind of like one of the patterns, but just just done vellum, just the shells. 
for there. So we've got those. And then I've got the shells on rice paper, which is a little bigger. So the rice paper shells are a different size. So, and then I think the pattern paper is bigger again. So it's not trying not to be identical. And then we've got the wood here on a rice paper from paper one. But you can see because the, the vellum's transparent, it comes out a little different, but it's a different portion. See, this lines up there like that. So it's not the exact same portion. This one's sort of that side and that one's that side. Um, and then I think this is paper five, isn't it? This is paper five? Yeah, paper five. So it's the watercolour of paper five that's like the pink and teal. It's got the large colour cuts on the other side. Um... I better come and say hello. Um, where was I up to? I think I said hello, Mary. Hello, Michelle and Trish. Hello, Deborah and Karen. Thank you, Sandy. Naomi, they love the magazine. Deborah loves the vellum. Deborah loves vellum, but Deborah and I are scrappers from scrapbookers from like way back in the day. We um, had a working bee making Eve's wedding invitations once <laughs> and that's what it feels like. It feels like Deborah and I have scrapbooked for that long because we've been scrapbooking a long time. Um, sure. Our paths should have crossed, but I don't know if they did. I think they might have at some stage. Pretty sure I had some of her stuff in my store at some stage. I know I have it in my stash. <laughs> Hello, Heather, how are you? Um, in my crafty stuff, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, so vellum. And out, so this is rice collage paper. That's what they call it in Europe. It's actually mulberry paper. We used to call this mulberry paper back in the day and I love it. I'm, I'm so glad we, we, yeah, yeah, we can get our hands on it. And this is the, the natural color in like the burlap or the hessian. Let's just call it what it is. Let's just be honest. When it wants to, yes. But remember, we had a working bee once, Deborah. It feels like that's why I say to people, I've been scrapbooking so long. Was at the working bee to make Eve's wedding invitations. So there we go. I still weren't there for an engagement. So... <laughs> Hello, Marge. How are you? Hello, Jenny. How are you? Oh yeah, there was a snake. But yeah, this is good. <laughs> and I think I called this one stormy sea or stormy ocean so this is one of the little squares Steve, of the patchwork uh, paper in Debbie the saying hello, and Debbie saying hello. Hello, hello Debbie how are you I said hello to Jenny oh, did and then this is off paper two that's my favorite one Quentin loves this one this is off paper two it's different it's not different but it's it's beautiful and I've tried to make sure it's exactly symmetrical across Okay, so then let's stick with paper two. So then I made this and I called it Boho Builder. <laughs> and then it's on rice paper. And then I had to, thank you, Sandy. And then I had to come back and change its name to Boho Builder One. <laughs> it's just because remembering just so you know the graphics for this and paper two in the islands is where boho bliss or parts of boho bliss because it's a combination of three things actually and the boho feathers the sets of boho feathers where they came from i'm still so, getting pictures of gypsies in the gym when you say boho builder <laughs> hello mel it is a great collection and then we've got i don't know what number they are I just numbered them as I made them. Um, I love this one. This is one of my favourites. I think it is my favourite. Don't know why I'm not an orange fan. This one's a bit Naomi Johnish. I wonder if you're going to like when you make them. So that's pretty cool. So there's a colour for everyone. There's five. Just went nuts. This one's a bit, it's kind of, it's a bit more coral. I like the coral. And then this is for the green fans. Green and purple. Isn't that cool? So there we go. I guess I better use something from that pile. 
and we've been going at this for a while and we haven't even started it. Class no, no. We're in the fluff stage. We're in the fluff stage. <laughs> Obviously Quentin didn't go to work tonight. Let me show that. Okay, so we're going to make... Will you sell these papers individually or will they come in packs please? Oh yeah, they're individual. Have you put a link up yet? Oh, I did. I'll show one up. Dearing me. Sorry, Jenny. No, we sell them individually. I'll show you the pattern paper for the islands next. I'm just putting up a link for the whole of the pack. There's just too many. <laughs> so they've gone and grabbed a lot of stuff. You said get me a lot. Uh, I didn't say a lot. I just said get me some stuff. Get stuff yeah. But I don't think Jenny was asking if we sell them the packs. No, they're just individual. No, we just sell those individually. We do sell those individually. But there are a couple of paper packs. I think there's enough for three paper packs of the islands left. They're meant to have a different flare button for that too. So I'm going to show you paper one, but I'm not allowed to use it. So I'm just going to open the pack and then I'm going to close the pack. Let's find paper one. So this is paper one. There's only a couple of sheets left of the islands. So I'm not allowed to use it anymore. I've been 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 using my scraps. And I've been told I'm not allowed to use it. Okay. So then let's find so this is paper two. There's three of it. Yeah, there's three of each. Little um, little big class. I'm just going to mark on it. So it's paper two. And then we've got... So these papers come in a pack. These come in a pack. You get two of each in the pack, plus a free clear button. And then, see, this shell is bigger again. But it's got the brown on it. Go away, Aunt. Look at all that. Someone has laid my chair back like a lounge chair. Why didn't you use your chair? Someone has been in my chair. Oh, oh, dear. Foot oh dear, it's gone down. Yeah, it's. Oh dear. Oh, hello, Leslie from overseas. Paper three. Did you see Leslie's on holidays here? I did see Leslie was on holidays in Vietnam. For a minutes. Hello, I hope Vietnam's not too hot. And this is paper four. This was that paper we were talking about. It's a rice paper. Paper four. I can't find the lighthouse yet. Um, because I've had to re-download everything. And paper five. That lighthouse flare was so popular. I know, I've got to remake it. And paper six. Sold out. I do love this. But I do like, I like this. I really like using these, this together, like this. Paper six. Let's keep paper six for starters. Okay. And then we've got fell on fussy cuts. So on the picture online, and it does have a disclaimer at the bottom of it, some of these are white, in, but they're not printed in white. They're just fell on. And then this was our very first ever creative builder. And it is the island. So that was our first creative builder we ever made. And then what have we got here? Look, we've just got, so these are Mermaid Bliss colour cut flowers. There's millions of flowers. As I see things that might be useful. I don't think anyone shared my thing. 
And then we've got whales, shells, the original whales from 2020, uh, Mermaid Bliss, um, this one's Words and Creatures from the Islands. This is a new Turtle Builder. There is a double page and it is featured in the Inspiration Magazine using this. And all the products and the videos in the Inspiration Magazine have got links. More Mermaid Bliss. Obviously, he's liking them. Happy birthday, dolphins. Um, I've actually had a video deleted because of those. Which one uh, Just don't say anything. Yeah. We um, got in trouble. We didn't do anything wrong, but the artificial intelligence well, pinged us or something. Maybe the word summer. Shell bubble border by the sea. Beach bum. Dugong, the native here. Sun sand surf. That's an old one. Summer Sun fun. Mm. We sell one of them at least every second. Some days we sell three, four. Seaside escape. Shell octopus. Treasure, Escape the Mundane, Sharks and Rays. Stingrays and Sharks in there. And then this is um, Sea Life. That'll be a mini collection of its own eventually. More Mermaid Bliss. This is Fish, Turtles, Seals and Words. I don't think it's set in that order. Um, these ones, when they're sold out, they're sold out because I have to remake them, but I will remake them. And then flares. See, paper one. Do you love that? So we might put the flares. So there's just tons of flares with this. Look at this. You know, love the flares. There's so much stuff that's sold out too, I won't mention um, the Islands is actually was actually a pretty big release. I went nuts. So we're going to do it there. Or we're going to make them the same. Let's put our bits and bobs over there. See? Okay. Yeah, it does look okay. Okay. Where do we put that in the centre? might do this one because I've done it so that this plank then is about the same size as these. Okay. So let's get our chop up. We're going to make a double and we're going to put these two together. So what I do is I fold them into each other, facing each other. And I'm going to turn it around, just double check. Yep, that's what I want. And I'm going to put them together and then I'm going to cut them together at 12 inches. So we're actually cutting the barcode off plate six. Don't cut along the edge of the barcode because they give you a little bit more than the barcode. They give you a little bit of grace. Might keep those. That would be good for journaling. I know we all love that word, journaling. And then let's open this out like this so we keep the two tops facing each other. And we're going to get some tape. So this is how I deal with a just return to hotel after an eight hour tour, Vietnam War, military site and places where my husband was stationed. Long tan site was very emotional. Oh, I bet it was. Is that an eight, nine? Was that a long time? Nah, six. Oh, six raw. Oh, go away. Quentin, could you just go and shut the um, curtains in the lounge room? Because yeah. that whole... Each child has actually... Only one child never picked at the screen in the lounge room. You know, it's patched up with double-sided tape at the moment. Um, we can't buy fly screen big enough in Gladstone to fix it. 
don't know why. Um, Milton didn't. But that was where the rocking ho his rocking horse was, was in the lounge room at that spot. We've only just packed the rocking horse up. Where is the rocking horse? Still no, it's packed up. Oh, where do we put it? Oh, no, it is. It's over at the other window in the lounge room. Because we've got nowhere to store it right now. We've lost our horse. Lost our horse. We've lost our marbles. Do you want summer? About summer. Um, so what I do when we do one of these classes is when I make the kit is I will make custom colour cuts. Like I'll make a custom packet so we don't have to put in three packets in the kit. We actually put in a custom packet. So we got the seals and words and fishes and turtles and then we got the shells. So these shells were designed for our She Sell Seashells retreat prior to the islands actually being released. It we were still we knew we were doing paper of our own and we knew we were doing the islands, but we hadn't actually um, told anyone what was going on, what was um, what was happening. Oh yeah, let's put those over there. So I think we center our page around our photos, which are really important, which is the reason why we scrap. Actually, I don't know if photos are always the reason why we scrapbook. I think a lot of the reason why we scrapbook is because we love creating and we need an outlet for our creativity. And it's an awesome outlet for creativity. Now these guys are cute. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way, Alyssa. Yep, I'm doing this all about face. I am working out what I want to use. Oh, I like that. And remember, we've got to keep our half time mark. Now halfway, we've got to keep that in check because when you stick things across the border, okay, here we go. So when we stuck this across the border, we had to make sure, and look, it's come apart because I bent it, but before I cut this apart, cut this in half eventually in a million years, um, I'm just going to make sure that these glued bits are glued on both sides, otherwise it'll fall off and then it'll look dodgy. You're not telling me we've got any messages. Oh, well, so Deborah and Leslie were having a chat about Vietnam. Yep, sounds awesome. It does sound uh, Quentin's not exactly a travelly person. Just about got him to the point where he might eventually agree to go somewhere like New Zealand. It's a long way. Or Tasmania. That's it. Yeah. Depends on which one's the least cold is yeah. where we're going to end up. We're not going to Tasmania in winter. We go to Melbourne in winter for a craft show. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Um, He's having panic attacks about how we're going to go to Melbourne if I'm not allowed to fly. I was thinking we could just hire a bus. What, and pick up people on the way through? Well, yeah, we'd have to get a trail for the luggage. Yeah. We could do a tour. Yeah. Well, the problem with driving to Melbourne is that we'd have to stop for a million coffees on the way. It would probably take about five or six hours just to get through the top half of Sydney. Those places are beautiful to visit, says Joanne. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously a world season travel. She's just been in NZ. Oh no, you have you weren't here. Quentin, no. Quentin goes to work, Joanne. He doesn't know where you've been. No. I do know where Lorraine goes. I stalk Lorraine on Facebook. Yeah. Um, is that a big, gee, that's a big pack for a mini pack? No, there's, oh yeah, there's a lot in one of these mini packs. So there's a full pack and two mini packs. You're going to do a custom, 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 maybe. I'm going to make a custom pack of these. I'm going to type that in as we talk. I think that's upside down, but it'll be right. Was it summer when we went to see life last time? Um, yeah, it was. It was. Mm. Oh, Don't was like Oh, Bex says <laughs> she's on the other side of Sydney for a cup. Yeah, I know. So. Your side of Sydney's going to take us a while to get through to, lovey. I'm just being realistic here about how long it would take us to drive to Melbourne. Uh, yeah, I eliminated one turtle, an octopus, a stonefish, or what looked like a stonefish. I still remember that stonefish. I remember small fishing that when I was year six class. That was the biggest stonefish I've ever seen. That kid pulled him. Yep. Well, I remember I ran about 50 metres down the beach screaming, was... don't touch it. Yeah, I think I was in grade four or grade five when a boy at Tannum. I must have been in grade four, but Tannum Primary, I think, had just opened, but it was a boy from Tannum that was a bit older than me. He um, came off second best after an incident with a stonefish. At Tannum Sands. Oh, Lorraine, they're coming up to Queensland next month. Oh, where are you going to head to, Lorraine? They're only staying for a couple of days, but it's an 80th birthday. Oh. How oh, close are you getting oh, to it? Turning 80. So how close? Come on. I'm interested to know how close they're going to get to us whether it's close enough for us to do a day trip. Really? Yeah. We've got that much work to do. We can't go day tripping anyway. Oh, says who? We can go day tripping to the store and the clean The Gold Coast. <laughs> oh, bugger. No day tripping to there. No. Sorry. Okay. So I've got a piece of craft. 225. Yeah, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to cut this into six pieces that are four by six. So they're going to be photo notes, right? Yeah, I'm going to use paper. So you'll know. So let's cut it at six inches. Don't wrap my pants and then cross cut at it. Make sure it's 12. And we're going to cut it at 8 and 4.
four six by sixes. <laughs> Oh, we were talking the other night about mum. So there's a lovely new lady that is on site working at the retirement community where mum is and she is a nurse, an aged care nurse. And she's there as the administrator. Yeah, she's the admin, admin sort of person. And yes, so she, yes, she's had offered us support. Um, which is really wonderful and offered mum some support, which is really good. Really, really awesome, actually. Kind of felt that drowning lately. So let's try and fit some photos on here. Oh, if we shove that up a bit and then shove that up a bit we might not have our fishes there okay now so far we've used two pieces of um, the wood pattern paper yep. and one piece of paper what do we think I love circles. My name is Elisa and I love circles. You do love circles. Yep. I love circles. Yeah. At least I'm honest. And I love this piece of paper here. I just need to get this off my laptop because it's getting a little bit warm. Really? Will I take my laptop to catch the fires? Someone's asking me about Photoshop today and I said I know what the icon looks like because I can start the program for a least for in the morning. <laughs> and I know that your laptop makes lots of noise when you start Photoshop. Yeah, I don't know if I you should use two different woods together. I would really like to, but I just don't think I should. Put the wood down. Mm. Put the wood down, he says. What if we cut this into circles? I do think I need to do that. Okay, my favourite circle. This is a great tool. Just stop it's it over there. It's very costly, that tool. It's the middle out of the embossing, foiling, and glue adhesive tape. So the red tape, strong tape we use for our mini books and booky thingies. Oh, you wait. We have just got so much on the horizon for you guys. Oh my god, and I'm not allowed to say anything. You can't say it on the I'm gonna do the outside of my inner thing from my foil tape. Now the outside is of course not a normal measurement. It is three and three eighths. So it's an eighth of an inch short of three and a half inches. on the back of my new blue vellum remember it's not vellum let's do a nice corner piece to use up here so we are going to draw as many circles it as we can big bubbles, it will won't it and i know we've done something similar before so but you know what three and three yeah i know we've done something similar before but you know I really want to be able to do, um, and we're working on it, be able to do like some sort of template thing, just in case you don't have a tape circle. I'll get there. They're highly hard to come by, tape circles. Mm. My brain is full of ideas. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to make some bigger. Like this one's almost full. Oh, I moved. It's blue watercolour. Or ocean watercolour. Have a look at the website. That'd be a good idea. Watercolour. 
So when I cut these out, I'm just going to cut just inside the circles, right? So by doing that, oh dear. See, I'm keeping the middle. The girls are playing Battleship. Amelia's trying to cheat. Well, this is going to be a tiny bit. So let's let's just make, leave the middle there. Oh, and you know the problem is, Joanne, we've got to wait. Because I was finishing off um, the new Islands products today, I actually didn't get to finish another project. We've got a big delivery coming on Monday. Uh, problem is we won't be showing you <laughs> straight away. Yeah. So those that are in the know and know what's coming next, and that's about... 50 of you know what's coming Monday. Um, there was a glitch with one of them, one side of one paper one. So um, hence the delay, but good things come to those away, especially in the paper craft industry. But yes, about 50 of you know exactly what's coming on Monday. The rest of you should know what's coming on Monday. If you haunt our store, you will, our online store. Your ability to keep the secret is only hindered by the fact you're not telling people. I just love sharing. I just, it is so hard not to tell you what's happening. You never tell a lot what someone's good for Christmas. It's a secret. I can keep those kind of secrets. It's just product, you know. I'm designing all this product and no one's getting to see it. And I'm designing a lot of product. Yeah. Um, I designed a lot of stuff yesterday and the day before. And I didn't get to finish something else off today. We're using a whole sheet of this one. No, we're going to keep the bit out of the middle with us and just send the outside bit to cut the circles out of. Right, so what are we sending them? Seven eights or watercolor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It's just the depth that varies, people. Just the depth that varies. So I'm just being very careful and I'm holding it carefully because if you... um get too boisterous when cutting vellum you can just rip off into the sunset and it will just tear away this it's not super fragile but it's fairly easy to like i'll just show you you can just you can just slide this as a straw if you want to Seven three eight four three one two. I actually have to come up with the numbering system as well. Quentin doesn't like my numbering system, but I want him to come up with a better numbering system. I think your numbering system is very good. <laughs> I'll tell you it's all my numbering system. It's very special. <laughs> Would you like me to get something to help you demonstrate or have you got something? No, oh, no, I've got my remote here. So this product is 738 So it's S, 
seven three SF Scrapbook Fantasies. Eight four three is T H E the because um eight four I've already used for something else. <laughs> so T H E the and then oh one two it's item two twelve. So I use a remote, and that's my remote at home on my desk. Can people see me? I want to shake my head. And uh, really. And at work, I have a picture of the remote on my laptop. Hello, Pam. Hey, Pam. Hope the recovery's going well. I was going to say, I'll get the soccer ball out and we're ready to go. Okay. It's a little time consuming, isn't it? So uh, I have been tweaking the online store. Uh, as always. Oh, don't forget to watch our weekly roundup tomorrow morning because you'll see it's the last of our weekly specials. So we're doing weekly specials in March. We're meant to do one more after this. Let's talk about that after. Okay, he wants to do one more. Right, so it may not be our last weekly special. It's the last weekly special for March. For March. We were going to do weekly specials in March. We can't weekly specials in March. Yep. It's my mother's birthday one. I'm going to write something huge to you. We'll go and write on a piece of typing paper and put it on the dining table to ring no, your mother no. in the morning. Did you buy your mother a gift? No. She's only 75. <sighs> She's 71. Mm. I have to get her something. She can't eat chocolate. Because... She loves chocolate, but she can't eat it anymore. Oh, She's a bit devo. Jim makes the chocolate. Yeah. Jim's a diabetic. And he eats all the chocolate and lollies. And, and he eats biscuits. All of the stuff. And he drinks soft drink. And he's diabetic. Don't ask. Let's just say he's not the only diabetic parent we've got that doesn't eat properly. And we've only got three parents between the two of us left. Oh, there's a fourth one, but she don't count. No. Not anymore. She's still using our sur your surname. Righty-o. Oh, just the web page. Yeah, so I've got some. I'm the magic here. Yes. It took me a long time to get that just right and to get the bu little bubbly bits out of the unicorn rainbow stuff to just be in the right spot. Don't know if I like the big one in the middle, but it looks good. Rightio. Where was that nice corner? This is where we started with the corner. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We'll have to start planning what we're doing at Melbourne for paper. Well, we've been talking about it. We have actually been talking about what's going on at Melbourne in Melbourne. And thank you to all the kind ladies that volunteered that they would help me hang on the stuff. Uh, we actually had someone we, don't yeah, we had someone we don't say know say they'd pop down because they live down the road. And I went, how do I answer that? <laughs> we don't know them. They know us. Yeah. I was, I was waiting for the person to pop down just to see who it was. Sincerest apologies if you're meant to know. I forget everyone's name. So what 
for something. He loves the bell. So you could use him a bit better. She did not. Horrid. You can go to work on a Friday night if you like. I don't know. Uh, I didn't answer a text message. So. Mm -hmm. I might have too many circles. Oh, What do we think? Needs photos. Michelle said that she agrees with me. She loves the bubble. Just don't listen to Queen. Oh. So see how all of the vellum, vellum's hard to stick. See how all of the vellum, I've got it like under something. So it's sort of kind of sitting underneath something so that it can... have that structure of something something to hold it down radio I think it needs something there and something there like Without a chunk of bill up there. A chunk of blue up there. Do we put? Yeah, she, she, she. Yeah, she. Yeah, she. God, that stuff gets covered in dust. I don't think it needs a really big piece. I think it needs a piece like that. <laughs> You're not going to cut that on the surface. and get yourself. I'll be sleeping in the car for <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'll the driveway off before I let this <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. Because the trucks love... Our trucks have this thing. So I've got a piece of the new burlap. This, our trucks have this special talent. They only like to poop. On concrete. As soon as their feet touch the concrete. Yep, they don't poop on the grass or the dirt, only the concrete. So I'm going to cut two pieces that are three inches wide by the width of. And they will need a whole piece, Clinton. 
then what we're going to do is we're going to tear and feather that. So to do that, so, yep, and then we're going to put a piece here and a piece here. This. Oh, I might need clean water. It's a bit black from the class the other night. Please. Not the kitchen. It's inappropriate. It's got acrylic paint in it. Do not put that in the kitchen. And it needs a rinse, please. Deary me. Do not put art water down your kitchen sink. It is not food safe. Love the effect with the blue bubbles. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Dean, Michelle, and Marie. Righty, I. Um, Wogga Wogga's Craft Alive. I think I have a thing in my diary. Sandra, Wogga Wogga's Craft Alive is next weekend so it's the 31st the first and the 31st of march the first and the second of april Where's is that? the wogga wogga craft alive wogga wogga. Yeah, you know. i know lots of things oh, yeah. so i am thinking we actually hang it off the end so we just do one short end and what I do is I draw a line. Sometimes when it's printed, you need to draw it. Oh, no, there's a little slubby bit there. So then you draw a line with your wet paintbrush. And then you sort of use your fingernail to pull it apart. You want it too feathered. And then we do, so we do one short end and the two, two of the long ends. The two long ends. There's not more than two long ends on a rectangle. Sorry about that. That was a bit, you know confusing everyone mathematically there dearing me and if it's not perfect it's okay and the more water you use the easier it is you use too much water it can get a bit poor party but you get a nice feather effect and keep all those bits there you go there you go oh yeah they're doing SA this year aren't they Uh, we won't be going to Ipswich. You're not seeing Queensland. We're not doing Ipswich. Um, Monday, you've got your appointment today. Um, Monday, I've had a different special, another specialist um, in Bundaberg. But we get to go and catch up and see Colleen again. Yes. That'll be good. Um, our friend Colleen owns the scrapbooking store in Bundaberg scrap addiction so uh we didn't have time to go and see her when we were down there um last year for grandma's funeral but we haven't Possibly had a chance to get to Bundaberg a lot tell us all about her retreat, she had a big retreat yeah she had a retreat last weekend um Colleen did but yeah we um we popped in and saw her we love popping in and seeing her Kids always try and pop into shops. So they like stopping in there. So yeah. We don't have a lot of family left in Bundaberg. Quentin's family's from Bundaberg. His mum's family, I should say. Oh, Karen's finally made it. Hello, Even Karen. with grandchildren under seven bathing and getting ready for bed. Wow, I think mine's still out there in bath. I think she's playing. Um, Hiding and playing somewhere. Um, Are you doing more? There is no more in the field this year. Well, we don't know. It's not confirmed yet, but at this point in time, there's most likely not going to be a moray field. There's just. Because the moray field venue is a um, very active. Um, 
like they have Lego exhibitions and they run a lot of sports there. So it's it's gonna be just gotta fit around the sport. Um Sunshine Coast was like that as well. It's fitting around the sport because that's a basketball arena. And a lot of those sports venues only want school holidays and school holidays don't necessarily work for everybody. So what do we think? Sorry about that mouse says the pipe is looking good and the mouse is looking good. Oh, it's a mess. Joanne's a little unhappy about it. Morayfield. Oh, Naomi and I loved it. It was so fun to catch up with you all. And it's north side. We're north siders. Sorry. Sorry if you're a south sider, but we're north siders. Oh, you know. You know I haven't even picked up on the fact that he's in the summertime. Did you type the wrong thing? Hard to get good help. I'm just trying to grab some cards. So you've got six of them. I'll put down four I did promise a double. So, okay, what we're going to do while he's fluffing around fixing his mistakes is we're going to cut six. Well, you're going to use real photos. I'm using fake ones. And my fake photos are three and three quarter by five and three quarter inches. Always inches. Always inches around here, everyone. Three and three quarter by five and three. Oh, geez, that's not straight. Should be. Not three. to replace the fake photos with real ones at some point in time have been contemplating if I'm going to actually sell my pages that have fake photos on them because I have a lot of them and I'm feeling like I'm not going to get time to put real ones on there but I think I just need to try and make the effort and all free time In that free time where we're contemplating having a holiday. Okay, my pencil's getting very short. Is that your grey pencil or the art paper? No, it's my pale green grey. That pencil's been doing that job for quite a while now. Yeah, 2020, it's uh, late 2020. Are 
watching products. Oh, that'll be good from when you were up here. Yeah. So I always do the horizontal first. So I always do the cross, horizontal, then vertical. So I do a cross and then up and down. And so when I put a measurement in the online store for a title cut, I do a cross. So the measurement is a cross by up and down. So by making the photos three and three quarter by five and three quarter, you get six four by six photo mats from one piece of cardstock. Otherwise, you actually have to use um, three or two bits of cardstock. Yeah, um, it, it's. And then you have a lot of waste. Uh, Amelia Ann has loved learning shredding today. She's learned a new skill using the shredder. You know, I couldn't find the shredder. And <laughs> oh, you're dobbing me in. Then I go, what is that down there underneath the, you know, the postage, the packing desk? And Quentin goes, oh, that's a bin. I said, no, that's not a bin. That's the shredder tub. I filled it up with. He had been using the shredder because it's a like a tub with a shredder that sits on top and then yes he um had been using it as a bin because i know i've seen it somewhere here yes oh, I have. I've, seen, I've seen that shredder somewhere yeah you were using it as a bin so now we're going to cut the middle out of our photo mats my dodgy husband <laughs> Have a good night, Mary. Have a fabulous weekend. Yep. So. We've got to come to yeah, we've got to come and visit you, darling. Oh, Milton was down there earlier this year. Oh, my Do this nicely with a craft knife and ruler or some sort of trimmer, not a locker chopper. Locker chopper won't do this. Um, but you could definitely be um, doing this neater than I am. Right, this is just for speed. You don't want to watch me until midnight. You definitely don't want to watch me until midnight. I would fade before midnight. And the whole purpose of this is to show you how to get it done without dithering for a million years. Scrapbox week. I've spent a lot of time doing stuff in Scrapbox, Scrapbox week, haven't I? Okay, so where are we going to start? I'm liking the white on the title because I've got white on my colour cuts. And I love that little bit of pop. It makes things just... Pop. I'm thinking we're going to leave some space sort of around here or here for journaling. So let's stick our fake 
photos to our photo mats. Karen said you wouldn't have me any other way. Sitting here giggling at the combo snipe queue as a dodgy husband. No, I would not have him any other way. And you know what, Karen, after over 30 years of training, <laughs> I haven't got it right by now. I don't deserve to have any better. I think I cooked the steak that day for Oh, he does wonderful. He d he's been very good. And I and I have to admit, the times when I've been sick, he, he is always wonderful. He is very good. There you go. He, Tonight I'll uh, have my foot massage. Nope, ain't gonna happen. Um, he's he's very good. He's a wonderful husband. He's he's a crap driver. <laughs> I never admitted to being a good driver. Yeah. It, so he's multiple guys to get my license for a very good reason. And he did a lap of the Harvey Bay Cop Shop, and that's how he got his license in the end. Um. Love you, Harvey Bay. Yeah. But yeah, he's just sick of driving. And I'm sick of not driving. Feeling better, gradually getting better. I had been gradually getting better, but I just didn't know if it was wishful thinking before seeing the doctor. But now I know I'm definitely going to get better. I'm going. So every improvement is like, yes. Because I actually was worried it was in my head. Because I had. I had been told prior that um, I was most likely, I had to resign myself to the fact that I was not going to get better. But, yeah, very happy with the specialist I saw. Karen was saying I was technically using the shredder correct. Technically using the shredder correct. It was terrifying. Yeah, yeah. Well, the chickens are going to enjoy their their shredded um, stuff and we're going to fill our compost bins and <laughs> the shredding. Uh, when we were flooded, we were flooded really badly in Cyclone Debbie. So some of the plastic crates I had my tax documents in and all my paperwork in had hairline cracks in them. Some of them, one was a, some of them were brand new, like nearly new. One was brand new. Um, so it most likely come with a hairline crack. But so we lost the more recent years of documents, but the ones that didn't get ruined was the ones that I hadn't chucked out that I should have chucked out. So I had to keep them for so long and now I've just I've had enough. So I'm gonna put foam on the corners of these. Well, some of the old invoices we were shredding this afternoon came from a dot point printer. A dot matrix. A dot matrix printer with the real things on the side. Yep. I've been in business for a while. And it was like 10 sheets linked That was together. only 2012. I really loved putting that through the shredder because it was just like this big thing like a big sausage going. Yeah. She enjoyed shredding stuff. So she was shredding 2012 today. Marie said she's glad you're getting better. I just, start working out I, I just want to drive. <laughs> that is my goal, is to drive again. Be confident enough to drive. Oh, and who knew that the Australian government were silly enough to send a husband and wife jury duty on the same day for the same court? Do it together anyway. I yeah, I know. I am so glad my tax dollars are being well spent. <laughs> so we both got called up for jury service. We both got the same letter yesterday. I've never been called for jury duty before. I Quentin, know, right now. Quentin has. Um, I don't know. You, Quentin's still got. Quentin's actually got a doctor's certificate to say he has to drive me everywhere. The doctor offered it up. She was like, oh no, you gotta drive her everywhere until she's better. I don't want me behind the wheel of the car. Okay, so, so gonna be a half colour cut pack sticking in this. Uh I think we make a full. We make a nice, pretty full colour oh, cut pack. 
because I am not done yet. How much is the kit? I'm right now. Oh, are you? You know, Naomi does that in a, in a checkout. So we're going to start down in this corner and then we're going to go and do our title. We're going to use these two as our start point for our page so that then everything works around it. So rice paper you can carefully, don't, I wouldn't glue it because it'll seep through. You can use a little bit of tape carefully. So let's put that there. Shoop, shoop. You like the sound effects? That's why they call us both up together through sets so I can drive you. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. They might be in the nitrous. Um, I'm not doing it. Sorry. I um don't have to. I don't know how I'd spend my thirty three dollars a day. Um, I don't qualify to do it because I um, own a business and. I can't close just to go and do jury duty. So I'm not doing it. I'm not my boss Okay, so I'm going to put our crab here. So I put tape on the shell and the tape is on the burlap and the vellum. So then what we're going to do is going to grab a bit of tape. We're just going to lift our vellum and chuck it a bit more tape behind the shell. I'm going to try not to use too much glue on your um, vellum because what the glue does is it gets in, changes the molecular structure or structure and makes it wrinkle. So I'm just using a little bit of tape on this little shell. Scott down in Tasmania is speaking up for the health consumer Tasmania with a dorset action. If you do jury duty for $33 a day, that may pay for an Uber so Elisa can get from the shop. Yeah, I don't know if that'll pay for an Uber because we actually traverse town. I know plenty of people that would offer to drive me to work, but Quentin also has a casual job because it's if your um, only form of employment is a casual job, you don't not meant to do it as well for some reason. Okay, so we are going to glue this little guy on. It's only a tiny bit of glue over here. That's going to help hold our vellum down, and then. Our Splash word. I'm going to put on a bit of foam, I think. Now, Naomi will be out watching a movie, a kids' yeah, movie. She's working on her iPad, she's yep, working on Amel no, Amelia will be just sitting there quietly on the lounge chair, chameleoning, chameleoning into the lounge chair so that Naomi forgets that Amelia's in the room. She is so sight. good at hiding in plain sight, that kid. Hey, you got $18 neat tonight, dear, so far. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. So on this one here, we're going to put this little baby here. So we're going to stick it into our foam tape. We're just going to pull our foam tape up and just tuck that in there and then cover our foam tape. I shouldn't have picked them, should I? But yeah, I just thought it was really strange that we both got jury duty on the same day. I think that needs to go in further. It needs to be in. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it around and we're going to do our title book. So we're going to turn it upside down. So it's okay when you create to turn your page around, turn your card around. So when you're making a card, 
you do just have to be mindful of the fact that when you go to stick it together you do make sure that it opens the correct way Noah actually now just makes all of his cards backwards he don't care well it's not that he doesn't care but he's left-handed so all of his cards are open the wrong way open in the reverse and you know what everyone loves him for it he makes beautiful cards Noah does and it is what it is yeah Michelle's never been called up for jury duty I had never been called up for jury duty until yesterday most annoyed Quentin used to get called up a lot when he was in the army and the railway. oh yeah and the railway and the railway wouldn't let him go because he was the head ganger he was on call all the time he was on permanent call okay so this is going to go here so what we kind of need to do is stick this photo in and make sure we've got enough room there oh yeah so we're going to tuck this in here so we're going to stick this photograph and we're going to use the wood it's going to come in like an eighth of an inch in from the edge of the wood and then I'm going to stick this little half circle -y bit we're not going to have it right in the center of the piece <coughs> okay yeah, got called up years ago and scares the hell out of me yeah. oh Milton got called up at 19 and it was a case that a 19 year old boy should not be sitting on. He just wanted to do it because it was interesting. He, Milton actually got called up last year in um, September, October. September he got called up. But his work wouldn't let him do it. I don't know. It used to be once you're in the cycle, you got called up a lot and you drop out of the cycle. Mm. But yes, yeah, so at 24, he had been called twice. I thought 19 was a bit young, especially for the, um, yeah, the particular, you don't get a lot of jury cases here, but the particular jury case that was here was not, not appropriate. Diane Brown says, Hi, Diane. Hello, Diane. How are you? So we're sticking on our summer word, and we're going to stick it on so it goes off the edge just a little. Mum's been caught up twice since you lived down there, I believe. Twice since you've been down there. You've only been down there since 20... 22? 20, 2021? Early 2021? Wow. I think that's straight. I hope it's straight. I know we could get out of that trish before. Just think about the uh, respite you'd have. 33 bucks a day. <laughs> it's not kind of, it's $3 a day. So if you're a casual employee, you're not meant to do it. Oh, there you go. Um, if you're a casual employee, you're not meant to do it. You don't have to. No, no, if you're a casual employee and that's your only form of income, you're not meant to do it, Quentin. You're on one of the, um, these are the things if you do, you can't, you're not meant to. Well, they don't want you to do it. Okay, so I wasn't wondering if he'd been in jail in the last three years, wouldn't they know? I'm not send it away. No, I wouldn't you think it. Okay, so we're going to stick this one here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put some tape on the back of Mr. Turtle here or Mrs. Turtle person turtle and so we're just putting a little bit of tape actually we're putting a lot of tape and then once we've got the turtle on what we'll do is we will I'm going to put the turn on there like that. So we, we, a machine cuts our colour cuts, but we actually hand peel 
and put them in the packets and look at them and sometimes we miss little furry bits so please please don't judge us badly if you get a furry bit on your color cuts we do try to do our best okay so this little guy we're going to tuck him in here a little bit of tape along the edge and that's why I left the selvage around the vellum because then it's the selvage that we're hiding underneath not necessarily the and I know that should have a bit coming out there but we're just going to pretend it's correct so I'm going to try and have like an even border here and here to the center of the page. So let's do that. And put some foam behind our seahorse. I don't know if Leslie should be watching with me using scissors like this. Leslie doesn't like it when I use scissors to cut foam tape. And then we're going to make sure our seahorse's head just goes up into the hessian and it just makes it like, oh, she stuck that on to cover something. It's like it's part of it because things are overlapping in lots of places. Makes sense to me. Just so you know. That was more for my husband than for you guys. Oh, they've just informed her this morning, this afternoon, that they're not going to heat the big pool through winter. And she swims all year round. And so the other swimmers, the triathletes, suggested she get a wetsuit. You need to be fitted. Yes, but she's using the chlorine, Quentin. And it's a, have a very yes, but the speedo swimmers were terrible. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to tuck this piece so it looks like it's coming out. And then we're going to sit. Then what we're going to do is behind the photo there on the vellum, we're just going to put some tape. All right. Then we're actually going to sit this one where it goes, down the bottom corner. And then pop this photo on. I'm going to have a tiny gap there. No answer. Um, all the stuff from that. Thank you. I love doing what I do. I don't want to not go to work. I love. And I even love working from home. I like, you like that, so. um, And when I work from home, I actually, Quentin actually rings me and tells me to stop for lunch. I do forget to have lunch on a, re on a regular basis. So I'm going to go back upside down again. Um, that one there wasn't meant to go up the page, but is what it is. Okay, so up here, let's remove the phone. Let's put some tape across here on the vellum behind the, behind there. Let's move our little starfishy friend. Anyway, so, so when I get to work tomorrow morning, the first thing I do is while we're, so what I do is I set up, get all the stuff ready to stream the video. So I'm going to mimic this border down here. So I see this border down here. We're going to try and mimic, mimic that and come in from this edge about an eighth of an inch like we did down that side. 
Oh, and we got wider as we got to the bottom because we were crooked. She'll be right about there, I think. And then what we're going to do is we're going to lift this up, this piece, and we're going to pop some tape in here on the bell just to help hold it down. Um, yeah, so I'll get the stuff ready for the weekly roundup, my, my part, the computer bit, and then um, Quentin will set up in the store and then um, while he does that, I'll put together a custom colour cuts for this kit. So we're having, we're making this border here. So this one and this one are sort of similar. One across the top. Oops, no, not up there. And how was this one going? It was going like that. Okay, it's trapped in there and it doesn't cross the line. Okay. So then let's stick this on there, but then let's lift this up and we don't want to cross the bit. Oh no, it looks too similar to that one there. We don't want to. Yeah, that's different. It's different to anything else. I don't like to have things that look the same. I get a bit funny about it looking contrived and too controlled. Even though I'm a control freak, I have OCD. I like things being lined up neatly. But you know, you've got to make it look like it's creative. You've got to make it look like I just threw it together. Even though I didn't. Oh, well, because she loves you. Have you been fed? Probably not. You starving. Look at you. So I'm going to put this little one on foam and we're not going to go across the border. We're watching our border here. Let's go and leave you to know as a gift. I bet you he's got his door shut. So she can't do it. There is not a peep out of Amelia Ann. She's being so quiet. Sorry I'm not looking up at your comments everyone. I'm not trying to be ignorant. I'm just. I'm enjoying the process, to be perfectly honest. I'm loving this layout. It's got one fishy. Remember, fishies don't swim up and down, they sort of swim straight across. Occasionally, they might dive slightly, but not really much. This is the guy. Sneak, isn't Hiding yep. in plain sight. Yep, yep. Yep. She is a sneaky little one. Okay, so what we're going to do next before we go and dig into our color cuts and see what else we're going to add, we're going to snip off this vellum. So we're going to get a pair of nice sharp scissors. I don't like to use serrated, these are serrated. I don't like fussy cutting or cutting vellum with serrated scissors. Told you I'm obsessive compulsive. So you could cut it on this side, but it is much better to turn it over, flip it over and use the edge of the page as a nice straight guide. And you want to be very cautious I'm holding it behind and on top want to be careful not to let the scissors run wild and just snip a roux because the vellum will just give under the scissors. It won't tear in weird directions, but it'll just let the scissors cut it. It cuts beautifully. So I'm just holding this under there. First time ever, Quentin wants something specific for his birthday, right? 
First time ever he's told us what he wants. Realised yesterday, his birthday, it's on the 3rd, and it's really soon, and we haven't ordered his birthday present yet. Oh, lucky we're a customer of the company. It's not scrapbook. It's either. not scrapbook. No. Lucky we buy no, 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 some no. stuff for our manufacturing from this company. No, almost, no. well, basically every, almost every week. And they do, um, I do get free overnight express, air express with them. I don't know if I will get free overnight air express, but I'm going to give it a go because I'm a regular customer. I <laughs> spend a lot of money with them. It's going to make great with the cooking. What's that? It's going to be great with the cooking. Yeah. Quentin's, Quentin wants to make a side, well, we both want to make a sidestep product that complements what we do. Something really cool that matches our collections. So, yeah. Um, it won't come straight away, but his birthday is an opportunity to get the equipment and start playing with it because we won't be able to have time to design and manufacture that for a while. But yes, being very cryptic, but we really don't want anyone to know, our opposition to know what we're doing with that. I see your sister's hiding in plain sight. <laughs> did you did you open your eyes and realise she was just sitting right there? Oh, she, she is a sneak. She agreed to not complain about having a shower if she got to watch a movie or half a movie and then it ended up being a full movie because I fell asleep during Battleship. <laughs> did she fall asleep during Battleship? She would have cheated. She would have oh, cheated. Yeah. yeah, she won that round. And then Speedo don't tell the truth. Said they had wet suits and sort of The Speedo weren't good quality. No, they didn't last very long. They do have these ones here for long sleeves, but they Nope. I don't know about the little turtle. The same ones that I had. The piping is where the rips happen. Yeah, no, they're not good. They did not last at all, Quinn. I actually don't know if it needs anything else. Does anyone think it needs anything else? I'm just not a fan of overcomplicating things. Oh, I like that fish. Oh, I've got one exactly. Yeah, we probably should. They're good down there. They'll fit her. They'll know. It'd be a terrible place to go for a day, Agnes. Hmm. See, they're going to travel about 180k. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I think we're going to drive at 250k here to see a doctor. I don't know. Doesn't need anything else. We need the fishy there. It's a lovely looking great page, thank you, sir. I think we need this fishy here, but do we need the fishy there? Did you use your three triple fishies? Yeah, they are at the top. I love them fishies. The triple fishies. Mm, I don't know. Leave the okay. Fish. Leave the fish there. What's that? I'd leave the fish. You like the fish there? Mm. Okay. So, remember we cut the barcodes off of the ring? We cut these off. So you could use these little babies on here as journaling strips. So write on these and put, so you can put one there for that photo, one here for this photo, one here for this photo. Uh, and I think you need a little bit of a circle under the portrait one with the seahorse on. This one, I think it does too, doesn't it? Yeah. And everyone's saying yes to keep the fish. We're keeping the fish. And these little strips are for your journaling. So like there, there, and there. And that is crooked as crooked can be. Wow. You obviously didn't measure. No, I didn't. Uh, I just eyeball. Die over on the tube, so it's a lovely page. Right, so we need a bit more bubble. So I can't put three and seven eights, that's bubble shit. Oh, give me your three and seven eights. You know, the good news is we found the shredder before we went out and bought another one. Yeah. Just so you know, we'll leave down the valley, don't have any shredders. 
post hours or summer. When you come and visit us in Gladstone, we'll show you where Woolies Down the Valley is, everybody. I did not teach. So our son is very excited. So excited because he's in Europe for summer, part of summer, and he's just so excited. Europe? He's in Europe? For part bring, of summer. Can he bring souvenirs? He better bring you back souvenirs. If he doesn't. Because he's trying to use his Europe trip as a being a tight trying not to um, participate in what your kids are doing. <sighs> he better bring, bring us souvenirs or else, guess what? I won't love him anymore. Yes, you, you will. will. Once you get your passport, you can sneak all of the trips. Yeah, mm. you can sneak you onto the plane. So when he heads to Mykonos for work, I actually reckon it should be take your mum to work week. <laughs> A fortnight. Take oh, who's with me? I think it should be take your mum to work. Yeah. Fortnight. Yeah. When, when it's, Amelia, um, who is going to brush your hair for you? No one. Yeah, because these pair don't exactly brush your hair well, on a regular basis. Last time I brushed her hair, to, like brush her hair, like to mum's hand. She cried on me. She pulled the tears. She, and she cries on me all the time. Every day. Just think a little bit. Dad's gonna give her the same haircut he's got. And then she's like, yeah. I don't know why I have long hair. And then mum gets all the knots out and she goes, Oh, I love my long hair. Also, she needs to say goodnight. Yeah. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Yeah. I'm not here. Are you hiding in plain sight? I am. Maybe, maybe not. And nobody heard that I'm not here. They all heard it. Those two do. I'm not here. Good job. Right. She's staring at I'm not here. Oh, dear. You're heavy. I know. Good night. Have a good day. Ah. I am very heavy. Well, oh, just the work trip, Karen. I don't need to go with him and his mate when they go Italy and Ireland and... England and that. I think there'll be a lot of pub crawls involved with that. Very sad's a part of being a kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hair sads are really bad because Quentin and Naomi will just gather it and just put it up. And I, Michelle said night. Everyone say night night. Um, and then I have to come and brush all the knots out. That was last night while Naomi was teaching. I was brushing all the knots out. Okay, so I'm going to show you all the bits of the page. I can take some screenshots. So how much is the kit? $18 and I'll make it while I'm here. $18 and the kit is going to have custom colour cuts. Have a custom pack. And Quentin's going to take a photo. We don't have to wait till he takes one in the morning because he's at Coles. So the kit contains. There we go. So journaling on our strips. Here, 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 and no, not there. Not anymore. Because we put a fish there. Probably would have been good if I had another little one. But I've used all the little ones. Do you know, I have hardly any islands in my stash. I have used, just spent everything I had of islands, the islands. Well, we do live near the beach. But yes, I have hardly any of the islands in my stash. I do now have these two pieces. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, folks, and there's a link for the class. Thank you, Dee and Deborah and Joanne and Di and Karen and Marie. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Um, so if you came along and said hello, hello. Um, if you left a lovely comment, thank you. Uh, if you have a question and we missed it and didn't answer it, you're welcome to messenger messengers. Uh, we did have an inquiry this afternoon. A new lady is trying to use our online store and she lost her shopping cart because she left for left it for two weeks and then came back. So when you want to shop in the online store and you want it to save your shopping cart, you just need to log in and create a customer account. Don't forget to go down to the bottom left, click on the creative rewards and make sure that you're logged into the online store up the top.
click on the creative rewards down the bottom join up for the creative rewards you will collect creative rewards by shopping but you'll collect more rewards by clicking on that join the creative rewards it's going to give you an extra 10 points or so many points and then it's going to show you other ways that you can collect points without even shopping some people like someone's got like 500 points and they didn't even shop like yeah yeah and you can even get points by signing people up sharing it on facebook liking us on facebook um all sorts of things um so yeah do that but if you're not logged into your customer account on the online store it won't save your shopping cart and then you won't get your abandoned cart emails some of you get extra abandoned cart emails and sometimes i think that's more to do with having multiple accounts and that you're a frequent visitor very sorry about that i wish i could fix it i can't even see the multiple emails and it's only certain email account companies too like it's only certain email addresses that it does it to um so it could be it could be something to do with that too um i haven't worked out that answer yet $18 dollars dollars for the kit and there's a link up there um the, what's the um, other thing oh there. and there is a wish list if you're logged in you can use the wish list there is a link every item has wish the little aqua circle with the heart that is to wish list it and it works because i test it all the time um i have tested the checkout i've checked the chat i've checked tested track your order with the, ch the new chat down at the bottom right um tested lots of stuff lately um but yes i regularly test test our checkout and all those sorts of things uh what's the other thing um oh and if you go to a, into the online store click on any product we would love it if you could click on any product that you've bought and you've loved click on the product and then click on the write a review and leave it a review um because we really appreciate that because that just helps other people know oh yeah that's a cool item um yeah and if it's a bad review it's okay because we need you to be honest um what else is there i think that's about it don't forget to like our youtube channel that's like okay, and follow so our facebook that you said there about the no, we'll sort that out tomorrow sandra yeah 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 well, 2023 yeah i've never seen a button to select creative rewards. bottom left so creative rewards is down in the bottom left it's been there about two weeks um yeah but yeah it's 18 dollars mel it's on the front cover of the website the yeah and thing. Have a picture of the class tomorrow um yeah so there we go i think that's all the things i showed you all the new stuff i think naomi john is going to use one of these next week one of the boho builders when she does her mixed media i think she wants one of each so yeah i guess mommy's shopping for her tomorrow <laughs> i did find these cool little handle things in the store today that weren't on yeah we found all. all sorts of stuff um yeah so don't forget to watch our weekly roundup tomorrow because we've got a new weekly special it's meant to be our last one but quentin wants to put a different weekly special on next week and i have a feeling i know what he's going to want to do um and we have a special of the day tomorrow and it is a bargain don't forget the calendar tabs for 50 cents and 25 cents are only till midnight i think that's it. and i've run out of voice so thank you very much for coming along i hope you enjoyed the class uh it's a double because you guys request doubles quentin's coming to photograph it right now so take care stay safe uh love is all and uh, no you would have collected points sandra so you get the creative awards automatically i'm pretty sure by shopping but if you sign up to the creative awards while you're logged in you get more points for doing other things like clicking the sign up to the creative awards but you're all collecting points but you can't use the points until you do that click down in the bottom left to sign up but you are collecting points. I'm pretty sure because it's collecting points for people that are not signed up. So I don't know how that works. But yeah. So take care. Stay safe. Oops, I'm knocking stuff down. Oopsie. Um, 
So yeah, we'll see you then. See you in the morning. Bye.